Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. It's uh, the only web show mm -hmm. about the movies that has uh, also charged the high-ranking Chinese uh, cyber uh, criminal officials with uh, uh, a cyber crime, which is not watching our show. Yeah, why the fuck aren't you watching our show, you bastards? The Chinese army should watch our show at we, all times. Like the Chinese army would love this show. Um, they would, they would eat it up. So I don't know. So just Justice Department, add that to their charges. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I'm here with fellow film pig Todd Robert Anderson. Now our third pig, Stephen Falk. He's off making uh, TV magic for FX for his show called You're the Worst, which will be on later this summer and we'll keep shamelessly plugging it uh, as more information comes to light. However. I know that there's several people who've been on the film pigs who are gonna be on yeah, the show. Yeah. Like Steve Agee will be yeah, on the show. And you'll be on it. And, and Winston Story. Win will be oh, Winston will be on it too. Story. Excellent, oh, excellent. Yeah. Okay, good. good. So uh, we'll keep you up to date with that. However, in his place, we have a very special guest, friend of the show, Alexandre Antoine. Hello. It's pronounced Antoine. 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 So welcome. Thank you so much. And like we always do, popcorn, clinky clinky. Popcorn. Mmm, delish. Yum yum. Mm -hmm. Dre is super mm -hmm. hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Amazing. She's amazing. Drinking. So uh, <laughs> let's get started, <laughs> like we always do, with some rash judgments. What? Yeah. Now this is where we tell you what is coming out in the theaters and whether you should or should not go and see these said movies that are coming out in the theaters based solely on our own dickish opinions. We haven't seen these movies. No. We know nothing about these movies in most cases. Uh, we're not allowed to screenings of these movies, press or otherwise. Um, we're just idiots telling you, uh, you know, what to do. So, Todd, what's your rash judgment? My uh, rash judgment is for a movie called Filth. If it was directed by Bill Cosby, it would be called Filth, Flarn and Filth, but it's not. It's just called Filth. Um, if you like the actor James McAvoy, but don't care for mutants and time travel, you can skip the X-Men show and see Filth. Um, it's about, it's basically Bad Lieutenant with British people, as far as I can tell. Uh, the trailer seems very inappropriate. Uh, there's uh, cursings and drug usements oh, and, no. and uh, depraved sexualities. Wow. Sweet. And uh, it looks fucking great. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> so go see Filth. Awesome. Well, thanks, Todd. That's a, that's a thumbs up for Filth. Filth. So now, even though Stephen Falk isn't here, he does have a rash judgment for us. Oh, nice. And it's pre-recorded. He took time out of his busy schedule. So let's see what he has to say about Forgot His Movie. Do you like Seth MacFarlane? Do you like Blazing Saddles but wish it was stupider? And you're gonna love Million Dice Waste Die in the West. Uh, it was a movie. Uh, it's a western, it was set in the, set in the far, Farland. And uh, and Liam Liam Neeson is a bad guy, and um, uh, you know that chick from Monster, Charlize Theron, is in it, and and uh, and Doogie's in it, and a bunch of people. Uh, I don't like I don't, I don't I don't like Family Guy or any of that. Um, so I I don't think it looks funny to me. Kind of looks like a one joke movie, but maybe you'll like it. And so let me know if you see it and you like it. Just you know say what's up. Okay, so uh, yeah, there uh, thank you, Stephen oh, Folk, uh, so for point. that in-depth. And uh, yeah, make sure to contact him directly about your feelings yeah. about eight million ways to die in the West. Yeah, we'll we'll um, post his uh, personal information online, so you can get his phone number, his home address, his mailing address, Sweet his Twitter. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll email, give you all the information. Yeah. You know, it dawns on me that uh, once the show is wrapped and he's back here, yeah. he's not gonna have a fancy trailer to hang out in. No, uh, He's gonna no. be cranky and bitchy about yeah, it. He's, yeah, yeah. It's, gonna it's, be, it's gonna be something we'll have to deal with. Well, there's a trailer trouble. in the parking lot. Maybe he can yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, we'll just, you can sit in there. We'll, just, we'll set up a tent outside for him. <laughs> Make him feel like he's on location. <laughs> yeah. Dre, do you have a rash judgment yes, for us? Yes, my rash judgment is Maleficent. I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. Starring Miss Angelina Jolie. 
I'm not going to see it. I think the kids would enjoy it. And she's the queen of all evil. Not Angelina, Maleficent, but maybe some people do think she is as Could well. Be. Yeah. Some people well, are still cool. bitter about Brad children. Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so long story short, she someone broke her heart, so she tries to take. So in other words, she seeks revenge on this man's daughter, and sets a curse on the man's daughter. Like you never mess with the kids. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? If you did something to me, I'm not gonna mess with your child. But that's what she did. So that's why she's evil. So yeah, go see it. <laughs> Awesome. Do you, yeah. think, do you think Billy Bob will go? I think he is doing stuff to her pictures <laughs> every night. So, yes, I do On think he... On the set of Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that was Rash Judgments. And uh, I think it was very successful. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Yay. I felt good about it. Now, um, we, have, we have a sneak... Uh, preview. We have a trailer. We have Ooh. a previous sneak Ooh. show. Dre, 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 Dre is, is the star mm -hmm. of an upcoming movie, major motion picture. Will there be gratuitous female nudity? Maybe. Oh boy. Maybe. So, uh, so yeah, this is a world premiere. No one's seen this before. Uh, it's like the it's like the new Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. It's brand new, and it's it's gonna be great. Dre looks fantastic in Thank it. Thank you. Let's have a look, Todd. How about we? Roll it! All right, all right, Waldar. Waldar, just calm down. We're going to give you a little injection, and it's going to make you very, very smart. Very smart. Stop, stop this madness. I'm shutting this project down. If you inject that ape with your smart juice, he'll undoubtedly become violent and will try and take over the world! Um, I already injected him. What have you done, you mad woman? We're all doomed! Hey, man, take it easy. There's nothing to be worried about here. I'm super smart now. And once someone is super smart, they realize that violence won't solve anything. Which means now we have a cure for Alzheimer's. Because of science. Yeah. Good for science. Yeah. <clears throat> All set. What can I do for you today? Ah, excellent. What the hell is this now? A robot? You idiot! It'll become self-aware, and then the machines will rise to destroy us all! What are you even talking about? There's no need to worry. I will not become self-aware because I have not been programmed to do so, sir. Please take me to the home of an elderly person so I can make his or her life much easier. Honestly, I have no idea where you come up with this paranoid nonsense. It's just science. Science is good. Okay. All right. Listen, we just developed this in the lab. You take one of these a day for the next month, and you will be cancer free. You should start feeling the positive effects immediately. Do you have a glass of water? It's chewable. Mm. Yeah. Cherry. Jesus Christ! How do you know that new experimental pill won't turn him into some kind of flesh-hungry zombie? Why would that happen? You're right. I am feeling better already. My cough is gone. And I have energy. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You don't know. He could still turn into a zombie. You are deeply disturbed. You need to take one of these pills to cure yourself of deluded idiocy. Science is good? Yes, dear. Science is good. Hmm. Uh. That was amazing. Yay. That was amazing. That was an incredible trailer. 
Um, it had uh, everything you want in a movie. It had thrills, it had chills, it had spills. Lab coats. It had lab coats. Twists, turns. Strong women characters. And that's important. Uh, Although I would I would have preferred a red band trailer so we could have seen some of the gratuity nui. Yeah. Well, well but you know that's been promised. Well, like I said. You gotta pay. You gotta right. pay for that. You gotta, free. Yeah, you gotta pay. Free. Pay price of admission for that, my yeah, friend. Yeah. So, uh, I think we covered everything in this episode, you guys. Yes. We did. We we in, we had intros. Uh -huh. We had popcorn. We clinked glasses. Oh, we did that. Um, I don't remember us doing that. No, well, no, but let's do it again. Let's again. just cover our bases. We'll yeah. just cover our bases. We we de clinked glasses at least once. Uh, we had rash judgments from everyone here, it, and Stephen Falk, even though he wasn't in this episode prepared a rash judgment for us. And it, it yes. seems like he spent a lot of time preparing. Yeah, no, a yeah. lot of he, like tender he, loving care. Yeah, he, he really stopped spent everything to Absolutely. focus on that Absolutely. rash judgment, and we could tell. Uh, then we saw an amazing sneak preview trailer from Dre's new movie. I'm a uh, doctor. Which is a, it fantastic, looks great. It's going to be a blockbuster. It's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we came back from that, and no. we did the wrap up um, with all the stuff that I just talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, now that brings us to the end of the Pretty show. Present. It does. Yeah, I think it was really successful. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Dre, thank so you. much for uh, joining us. Thank you for uh, having me. Because uh, you've been on the show many times. She's yeah. one of our many uh, uh, big friends, big veteran. Uh, I don't know. There's like at least five, she's six, not a seven times. Big friend. She's a good friend. Oh. She's, I was speaking about. Well, do you see her tight pants? I was speaking she about her oh, heart. He's trying to make up for the wrinkle comment yeah, earlier. So. Yeah, which <laughs> you guys didn't. Him. Which you guys didn't see. But you didn't see that. Boy, but. was that a misstep. <laughs> I didn't you don't say, say it to a woman. <laughs> I was face. asking if she said she was wrinkly. <laughs> so. Uh, and I was going to say you're not yeah. wrinkly, but then you guys. Like, and then and then, out. and then and then and then you just keep digging your hole. Yeah. Oh, deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> so that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. And until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. <laughs> <laughs>